Next up on Sal's show, Clint Miller, a musician, local, very good blues. Priya, you interviewed Clint. Yes, I did. Well, viewers, I did interview Clint, and uh, Clint is a fabulous musician. He's very innovative. He writes some of the most inspiring songs. He even wrote a song about the Virginia County Jail, which I found surprising because, you know, it really takes guts to do that. I mean, I get scared of police officers and stuff, and writing a song about a jail, I'm like, wow. So, no, he was great, and uh, he has a really good voice, and he's good at the guitar, too. So check it out. Hi, I'm Priya, your co-host here at Sal's show. And today I have with me, Clint Miller. Hi, Clint. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So, Clint, that was a wonderful performance. I loved your spirited renditions. Thank you. So, Clint has an album out. As you can see here, I'm holding it with me right here. This is called Ballet of a Modern Day Cowboy. Ballad of a Modern Day Cowboy, right? A Tragedy in Three Acts? Tragedy in Three Acts. So, Clint, why don't you tell us a little bit about this album? The album is 21 songs, and they all connect to tell a, a one hour long story. And the story is divided into three acts. And the, each act is seven songs, and it covers a different genre of music. First act is more rock and country and bluegrass, and the second act is swing and jazz, and the third act is a little bit of rap and experimental music. But all the songs connect, and if you listen to it for an hour, you'll get a full story. And it's available on iTunes. That's great. And uh, when did you release this album? I believe it was 2006 I released it. And is this your latest album or do you have any other works um, in the making? I got a grant from the Office of the Arts at Harvard to make a new album and I've got about nine songs made right now and Great. I've still got a few to make and then I still have to get it mastered but I don't know when it'll be released. Alright, so where are you recording these songs? My new ones, I, I I made my own studio, so I've been recording uh, in my own sort of studio. That album I recorded at a place in Knoxville called Castle Acoustics. It's mm -hmm. uh, it was a castle built in the 1920s, and uh, it had these large 20-foot ceilings and mm -hmm. uh, a balcony. And so I would record with a mic in front of me, a couple mics in front of me, and then there'd be a mic up in the balcony, and he had a. Since it was ca a castle, he had a suit of armor up there, so there was a like a full knight suit of armor and a microphone beside it, looking down at me from the top while I was recording. Wow, that's a really interesting experience. <laughs> and I record I record these albums playing. Uh, I, I like to play all the instruments on there, so I, uh -huh. I do it track by track. I'll start with the guitar, and then I'll add bass and drums and whatever else I need to add. I think I played 14 or 15 instruments on that one. Thank you so much, Clint, for being with us today. And now, viewers, let's watch Clint in action. Hi, my name is Clint Miller, and you're watching The Sal Show. I'm going to start by playing you a little bit of ragtime and blues. This guitar is about 100 years old, and I'll start off with the song It's about 100 years old. It's called Nobody's Sweetheart. mimicking piano players. So I have to play the left hand of the piano with my thumb and the right hand of the piano with my fingers. Nobody's sweetheart now. Baby, let your own baby you somehow. And fancy your holes in that silken gown out of place in his own hometown when you walk down that avenue. Now, baby, I just don't believe that it's you. See, you got them painted lips, and you got them painted eyes, and you're wearing that braid of paradise. It all seems so wrong somehow. Now, baby, nobody's sweetheart now.
That was some great ragtime and blues playing. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. It was really entertaining, very upbeat kind of music. Sounds like a cool guy. It must have been a cool interview. Yeah, he was a lot of fun. He was very candid and open about his stuff. I liked. Just tell me that the prison song wasn't a love song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not judging. I just want to know. He's a big man. I don't think I could fend him off. Yeah, my girlfriend left me after that song. 